Hello everybody on the internet and YouTube. Welcome back to Stardew Valley Expanded here with me, t Addict. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Wednesday. Uh, this episode is late and I apologize, but I have had just a little bit of a hectic time lately. It's me and Lewis's birthday. Ah, oh, we'll have to give him a blueberry. Um, yeah, I've had a little bit of a hectic time lately and uh, things have been a little nuts preparing for my like baby who's going to be here in like a month. Uh, but, so yeah. Been a bit nuts, but I'm here to record this episode for you because I felt like it. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow is going to be clear and sunny all day according to the weather report, but I think we're going to actually make it rain, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, the fortune teller for today, spirits of neutral, the day's in our hands, so that's fine. And the queen of sauce has a mouthwater recipe from her secret cookbook. This week's dish is pizza. There's a reason pizza is a timeless culinary classic. I had pizza for lunch, it was so good. You've got an artisan uh, golden brown crust, you've got a tangy garlic infused marinara sauce, and you're topping it all with our mouthwatering che three cheese blend. And we're just getting started. Oh, let's throw in some fresh pepper and tomato on top. Oh my. Oh, we already know how to cook pizza. Oh, well, you know. Okay then. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, today is going to be the great fishing episode. I have officially, officially, uh, decided, um, I want to focus on catching some fish, uh, because when we were looking at, and look at this, I already have my, uh, iridium rod in here. When we were looking at, uh, the community center bundles last episode, um, we noticed that there are a couple of fish that we still need to catch. So I have a little, I have a little list. Um, and some of them actually need to be in rainy weather. So I'm going to force it to rain tomorrow by crafting a rain totem, which I'm pretty sure I do know how to do. Yes, so it's hardwood, truffle oil, and pine tar. So we wouldn't have actually been able to do this before our piggies were like making truffles for us. Uh, but thankfully we do now have piggies making truffles for us. Oh, I grew some tulips and I've accidentally just pulled them all out. I did not mean to do that. Well, that's nice. Um, but yeah, so the piggies are making truffle oil for us, uh, which means we can use that to uh, create these rain warp totems, which will be very helpful. So that's what we're going to do and it's going to be great. Uh, let's go ahead and just check on our animals. Hello everybody, good morning. Uh, monkey looks really happy today. Excellent, I'm so glad you're happy today, monkey. There we go. And then we can go ahead and pop all of those in there. And we'll grab all those to be sold. And then we will let them out. There we go. And now let's come in here. Say hello to all of my animals. Hi guys. Hi guys. There we go. Okay, so we've got two normal cheeses, which means we should be able to milk the goats today as well. Okay. Is that sheep ready to be snip snipped? Oh yeah, but this one doesn't look like it is. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, let's get you. And let's get the other goat. Also, sorry, I am once again touching my nose way more than I should because I once again have drippy nose syndrome. It's just like a painful part of being pregnant <laughs> is the drippy nose syndrome all right let's let everybody out there you go guys dig me up some truffles my darlings and uh we will enjoy making some truffle oil a little later so let's run over here let's have a look at our uh kitchen garden see what's going on up here and then the plan is for today yeah to do to go fishing so i'm not in like a crazy rush this morning to get everything done super duper quickly but it's going to be fun. I'm hoping to have a, a successful episode of fishing, <laughs> uh, which, you know, we'll see. And then we've got some parsnips. Uh, no, sorry, I do not want to eat that. We also have to go and pick up my pickaxe. Uh, there was a pop-up this morning saying that my Iridium pickaxe is actually ready to be picked up from the place with the stuff. So that's really good. All right, so we need to replant... The parsnips let's put these three in there as well as maybe two more and see how many seedlets we get out of that these here look like melons maybe that i need to grow more of yeah and then i need to grow more wheat seeds 
well, I need to grow more wheat too. So I think once this wheat is ready, we'll put all of it back in there. Um, and hopefully then we'll be able to grow a bunch of wheat because wheat is useful for so many things. Okay. Yeah, we've got one little plant there, so we just need two more little seeds. Okay, that should be fine. Easy. Plenty of seeds. Okay, I don't mind having extra seeds because, you know, we'll use them up eventually. Okay. Cool, cool. So that's that kitchen garden taken care of. So let's head back down and back down here. Okay. Oh, there's a truffle already or two that I can see here. Excellent. Jpeth, that's right. I forgot I named. Okay, Jpeth, you need to move so I can pick up the truffle. Buddy. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Come on. Let me pick up the truffle. Move, goat. <laughs> Up. There we go, finally. Okay. Yeah, I forgot I named him Jpeth after the uh, the character in uh, Hoodwinked. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so I've got three truffle oils. Excellent. So we're going to be able to sell two of those and keep one to be made into a rain warp totem. Oh, it looks like we've actually got a potato harvest here that I did not even notice. Excellent. It also looks like our strawberries are coming along really nicely. I can't tell if they're quite ready yet. The kale's looking ready. Yep, kale's ready. Oh my gosh, we're bringing in a huge crop today. Excellent. And yes, my strawberries are ready. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we're going to be able to use our seed maker to get two more strawberry seeds out of that, hopefully. Uh, which would be great. Got a few more potatoes. Oh my giddy aunt. We've got just stuff popping out the wazoo. Okay, let's... Uh, clean all that out. How's my inventory space going? Yeah, we're okay. Let's come in here. Uh, no, I don't want to eat the potato. Sorry. <laughs> come in here. Looks like we've got a coffee harvest ready to go. I'm just going to pop in uh, this strawberry and hopefully we'll get two seedlings out of that. And then I can plant some more. We got lots and lots of coffee, which I love to see. And it looks like everything else is still just, you know, hanging out and very, very slowly growing. Uh-oh. Okay, now my inventory's full. <laughs> oh, snap. Let's get rid of the maple seed. That's fine. Did I get two? I got three strawberry seeds. Excellent. Okay. So for the potatoes and the kale, I'll probably just buy seeds off of Pierre because uh, I'm lazy. And, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so let's plant strawberry seed there. It looks like I've actually got some like fertilizer on this as well. I wonder if that's speed grow. I'm not sure. That's okay. Let's just plant that one there. Give it a water. So that'll complete that. But yeah, we'll need to get more potato and uh, kale seeds off of from the general store. So that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and clear out our inventory here. Oh my goodness me. The kale will keep... Um, just selling, as usual, all of the silver and gold quality stuff. And then we'll keep the normal quality stuff for our own use. Yep. Let's put all of those coffee beans in here. Yep. Let's put those in there. And the strawberry seeds can go in there as well. Okay, that's all looking good. Oh, that's right. And um, someone left me a comment saying that creepy noise that I heard was uh, an owl and I should have an owl statue. And I think I just spotted it. Uh, yeah, up over here. Look at this. Okay. Uh, that's kind of weird and random, but sure. Oh, let's also just quickly go and check on my rice. Is this ready to be harvested? No, that looks like it's still growing. Okay, let's have ourselves a triple shot. Because i got a lot to do all of a sudden and I've already wasted half of the day. Just say hello to the doggo. Hello doggo. Um, okay, so with the rain warp totem, do you use that on like the morning of? Activate to greatly, greatly increase the chance of rain tomorrow. Okay, no, so we need to use that today. Right, so we need five pine tar, one hardwood and one truffle oil. Okay, so got plenty of that. We've got plenty of hardwood. Okay, so let's craft uh, this guy and we'll use it. And now 
clouds are gathering in the distance, so we should get rain tomorrow. Now, before I head into town, let's go and grab a blueberry for Mayor Lewis, because it is his birthday birthday. Oh my gosh, look at all this crap down here. Um, and I think I have some blueberries in here. I do, yeah. That's just that's such a weird birthday gift to give someone. Like, hey, I brought you this one blueberry. Happy birthday, enjoy. But, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll love it. Oh, and then we're going to head to the blacksmith. So, I wonder if there's anything I should take down to the blacksmiths. Any geodes or anything like that. Let's just quickly, since we're down here. <laughs> it's already like 2 p.m. Oh my gosh. Come on, T-Addict. Pull yourself together. Get moving. Yeah, let's just grab all of this stuff. Oh, that's right. And didn't I need... I needed a frozen geode as well for a community central bundle, didn't I? Yes. And there was one in the quarry, but I couldn't get it because I needed my pickaxe. Right. Okay. All right. Time to go. Let's... Let's roll. So... I think I'll go... I think I'll go without my horsey today. Maybe will I? No, I won't. I love my horsey too much. Whee! Ride like the wind, bullseye! Wait, I should have emptied my inventory. Oh my god, I'm the worst. Okay, so any of these things... Okay, there we go. Yeah, we've actually opened most of our geodes, so that's good. Alright, sorry. Okay, these harvestables we can just, forageables we can just hold on to for now. Okay, oh my god, hi Martin! I like never see you, how's it going? I sometimes take the bus here to check out books from the library. That guy with the goatee doesn't talk much, no he sure does not. Okay, this is, I think this is the way this is going to be the quickest. So, let's go up here real quick, let's go to town. Let's pop in here. And get my iridium pickaxe. Oh, this feels like it should be a major achievement unlock. Like seriously, that is a that is a big deal, in in my humble opinion. Now let's quickly process these three geodes just because we can, because we're here, because why not? Alrighty, cool. And then we can go back. Oh, maybe let's just. Duck up to the quarry real quick. Oh, there's a diamond here. Hello. I was just going to see if there was a frozen geode. There was not, but that's okay. Let's go back to the bus stop. At the bus stop. And then jump on the horsey. Whee! Thank goodness for my super duper speedy coffee thing. <laughs> oh, there's another. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, these guys around. Oh my gosh, I'm going to miss out on all of the fishing that I wanted to do today. Just because, like... I'm too busy running around doing other stuff. Hey! Video games are amazing in their own unique way. Same with books. Nothing else really pulls you into a completely different world. It's healthy to take a break from reality, wouldn't you say? Absolutely agreed. No argument from me. Happy birthday, Mia Lewis. You remember my birthday? Thank you. This is great. You're welcome. Um, yep. I know you do. That's fine. Green algae for Sandy and for 45 gold? Not worth it. Um, okay, so... Let me just pause for a second. So the ones I can, I was thinking of catching today was the carp and maybe a ghost fish if I could. Um, oh, and the wood skip as well. So I think we should head to the secret woods. Because the ghost fish, it doesn't matter what the weather is. Or what the time of day is. So yeah, let's uh, let's get over to the secret woods as quickly as we can to do a little fishing. Maybe I should have given the mayor blueberry jelly instead of just a blueberry. <laughs> oh well. Hello, what are you selling? Oh, I forgot to go to Piers. Oh my god, you nincompoop. Oh, she's got a rare seed. Oh, I'm going to buy that. I can't believe I forgot to go to Piers. Wait, what time does Piers close? Five. Oh well, guess we're going to Piers tomorrow. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay, so let's uh, not forget that there are slimes that do want to hurt us. Okay, there we go. 
So, let's fish. So I'm looking for... Oops, a wood skip. And maybe a carp. Okay, there's a carp. Done. Excellent. <laughs> and a wood skip. Sweet. All right. Well, that didn't take too long. Let's keep fishing a little bit more. Got a wall basket? Uh, interesting. <laughs> Was not expecting that. All right, cool. Well, while we're here, we might as well chop these up for hardwood. I can't believe I forgot to go to PS. The I was right outside it as well, talking to the bear. <sighs> oh well. Ooh, mahogany seed. Nice. Excellent. Tumbles eye. Just grab this one. So we already do have, I think, a rare seed growing in our greenhouse. I think that's what that one plant is. Uh, unless it's an ancient fruit or are they the same thing? I don't remember. But either way, this is going to be a good thing to grow in our greenhouse. So glad that I picked that one up. Okay. Well, uh, we're back. Let's go and uh, check on the animals, close up the barn and the coop, pick up any other truffles that they found today. Yep. That's all good. Put those in there. Oops, sorry, bullseye. Okay, so let's sell you. So, so... I don't want to sell those things, do I? I want them in the uh, community center? No, 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 wait. Yeah, so they both need to be dropped into the community center. Okay, well, we can do that. Put all those in there. Let's put the slime in there. Let's put the hardwood in there and all of the other stuff. Uh, we can actually sell these diamonds. Oh, yes, and let's go quickly. There you go, Bullseye. Go back in your barn, buddy. Let's go down this way to the quarry and pick up that frozen geode that I need for the bundle. I'm assuming it'll still be here. Yeah, things don't despawn from here. They just kind of like spawn in over time. Yeah. Okay, so let's do all this. <laughs> I wonder if the weather channel will say something tomorrow about like, oh, well, uh, we were surprised by some rain today that we were not expecting. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, just gonna clear everything out of here while I'm here because I might as well. We are also picking up a couple little pieces of coal, which is helpful. And then we will go to the community center. We'll drop in a couple of things. Uh, so then, yeah, the plan for tomorrow will be to get through my farming chores a little quicker than I did today. Uh, go to Pierre's and then go fishing because we have quite a few fish that we're supposed to catch in rainy spring weather. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be our goal there. Alright, so. Bullseye. Sorry, ain't no rest for the wicked just yet. Let's, uh, let's head just to, over to the community centre real quick. I saw a bunny. Cheeky little wabbit. Okay, so let's come in here. So, fishing. Alright, so specialty fish. Wood skip. There's that one. Uh, river fish needs the catfish, which we'll hopefully get tomorrow. Lake fish, carp, boom. Then we also need a sturgeon, but sturgeons are only available in summer. So we won't be able to complete that bundle just yet, but that's okay. And then the this one goes in here, which will actually complete this bundle, which is very exciting. There we go. What do we get? A recycling machine. Wow. <laughs> That's really not that exciting. Right, so that one need a rabbit foot. That one we need apples. That one we need, yes, marky rolls. That's right. Which I don't think I knew how to make yet. 
And the, yeah, that one we need a red cabbage. Okay, well, we're getting there. Most of the rest of the fish that I want to catch tomorrow, some of it's to complete the bundles and some of it's just to complete our collection of having caught the fish. So, yeah. It's going to be good stuff. Hey, Sebby. What's up, man? I usually stay inside, but I do go to the beach now and then. Pretty much only when it's raining, though. For some reason, staring off the bleak horizon makes me feel, I don't know, like it's worthwhile to keep pushing on, I guess. That's kind of strange, but I also kind of get it. There's something very calming and therapeutic about the beach in rainy weather. Okay, let's pick up that one. And we're back. Excelente. So you can go back over there, Bullseye. Good night, my darling. Um, have a good sleep. All that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and pop that in there. Those in there. Those in there. Really don't need this recycling machine, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so this rare seed, so in fall, takes a whole season to grow. So I guess, I just, I wish I could remember if I already had a rare seed in the greenhouse or if it's an ancient seed. Because <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I do not recall, like this guy right here. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm just, I'm going to put it up here and hope for the best. Yep, that's what we're doing. And I guess we'll find out in a while. <laughs> but yeah, so I need to get kale and potato seeds. Ugh, can't believe I forgot to do that. Oh, and it looks like all the coffee got brewed up today. So 16 more cups of coffee. So can we put this window basket like on the window? Whoa, that's, a, that's big. Dude, that's a huge plant. Must be placed on wall. Let's put it uh, there. Very cute. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just pop. I know it's getting late. All that coffee in there. Wonderful. And head to bed. Nice. So solid 12,000 gold from farming today and another 5,000 from mining. So all up almost 20,000 gold that we made today, which is pretty epic. Um, our biggest uh, things that we made money on were, by the looks, the strawberries fetched us a lot, the potatoes fetched us a fair bit, and of course the five truffle oils that we sold set, fetched us 5,000 gold. So yeah, truffle oil, man. <laughs> Seriously, if you just filled up your whole barn with pigs and just had them constantly finding truffles and producing truffle oil for you, you would be rolling in it. I like to have a variety of animals, personally. Again, I'm my play style with Stardew Valley is very much... Hey, it's ready. Very much not about, like, min-maxing the game. I just do what I want to do to have fun. So, yeah. But anyway. Okay, forecast for tomorrow. Oh, it's going to rain all day tomorrow as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, neutral days in our hands. Living off the land. Uh, cook. Yes, good good call. And speaking of cooking, I wanted to make some extra triple shots. And then do we have something that we can make to buff our fishing skill? Because one of the fish that I want to try to catch today is the legend fish. And that fish is really difficult so here we go. So if I could make a fish taco, which I can't, that would give us plus two fishing. That's kind of what I'm looking for here. Uh, trout soup would give us plus one fishing. Dish of the sea is sardine and hash browns, which gives us heaps, but a little bit beyond us right now. Fish stew would give us plus three fishing. We need crayfish, mussel, periwinkle, and tomato. If we could make a couple of those. And that one is snail and gar garlic. We don't have any snails yet, I don't think. So let's see if I have some crab pot stuff that we could use. So I've got... I do have snails. Oh. I've got crayfish. I've got periwinkle. Um, what was the other one? Mussel. Did I need algae at all? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, and then tomato. So, yeah, I could make this. I could make two fish stews. 
And I could also make two escargos. Why not? Let's buff ourselves up a little bit for this uh, fishing expedition day that we're going to have today. Okay, so we've got some stuff going on. So we have... Oh, forgot I put that there. Body, remember to eat healthy or you won't have enough energy to work hard. I'm including one of my favorite recipes. Make sure to use ripe tomatoes and we've learned eggplant, eggplant parmigiana. Nice. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. Oops, I did not mean to pick that flower out. That's okay. Let's go ahead and harvest those flowers and we'll just replant them all anyway. Oh, so yeah, this is the problem with not replanting things immediately. <laughs> is that the, the thingies go away, which is quite annoying. That's okay. Okay, so let's just quickly, quickly, quickly... Run over, do the barn animals, check the kitchen garden, and then we're going to get going. Ooh, a duck feather. I got really excited about that for a split second there because I thought, oh, we need that. But no, it's actually the uh, rabbit's foot that we really need for the bundle, which is even rarer. And once again, they're all crowding around something that I want to pick up, which is making it very hard for me to actually pick it up. There we go. <laughs> got the egg. Oh, that one can go in the fridge. Okay. You guys want to come outside today? Probably not, eh? Yeah, I might as well just leave you guys all snug and warm inside your uh, your places here. Mm, so it looks like one of the sheep has like ranked up its happiness to give us wool pretty much every day, uh, which is quite nice actually. I'm not gonna complain about that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, do the pigs want to come out? I don't know that they would. They might prefer to just stay in there and be... Yeah, no, they just want to stay inside. Okay, that's fine. So, kitchen garden. Just go and do a quick check. Okay, so we've got... Wheat. Excellent. So, yeah, most of that I'm going to attempt to turn into more wheat seeds. Uh, let's do all of that in there. Looks like the rhubarbs and the melons are coming along, but they're not quite ready yet. And all of those aren't quite done yet either. Okay, that's fine. So let's see. Oh, I didn't bring another sprinkler with me, did I? But I'm kind of tempted to try to double our wheat production here. Like that. If I can. Okay. Another six. Excellent. So I need six more, please. Or five more. Five more. I got three. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's donate that one gold quality wheat that I didn't really want to donate. Try to get two more, two more packets of seeds, please. So we're going to go down to the beach, obviously, because we also, since it's raining today um, and tomorrow, we want to grab the, uh, the marriage amulet as well off of the old mariner. So that's going to be something else we do today as well. So I'm going to grab my horse because we're going to be skipping around to a couple different places. But the main one we want to do is the catfish, which we catch in the town river. Um, and then we want to do the the legend fish, which we catch uh, up. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, that made sense. <laughs> I know, I knew what I meant. It's fine. Uh, up in the mountain lake. There we go. Get your words out, woman. Okay, so let's start by going to Pierre's. Because I want to do that before I forget to do it again like an idiot. You guys will yell at me in the comments. Okay. Uh, so let's just pick those up. Oh, I meant to grab my curiosity lure as well, but I forgot. Ugh. Classic. Okay, so Pierre's General Store. Hello! How are you this cold rainy Monday? Uh, no, I'm cool. So, okay. Uh, 24 of those. We need another couple of tulip bulbs. Oops. Oh well. And we need those. Yep, that's good. Thank you, Pierre. See you again another time. Now let's go down to the beach to grab the marriage amulet. Because this is a bit exciting. 
Maybe we'll have a beautiful spring wedding soon. I don't know. Could be good. Filling up my inventory with crap again, aren't I? <laughs> Before a fishing expedition. Not a great idea, but that's all right. Okay. Hello, sir. Old Mariner. Oh, I'm still not ready. Oh, do we have to be... Oh, maybe we have to be 10 hearts before I can get that. Oh, I'm a doofus. Oh, I thought I could get it from, um, like, nine hearts. But obviously, obviously, I was wrong about that. Okay, never mind. Well, we'll pick that up another time. Maybe let's just pop in and visit uh, Victor then and just say hi. Make sure we get our, our talking points for the day if he's around. Mummy's painting in her room. Ah, oh, yes, he is around. Hello! I'm in the middle of reading a book about the sightings of mysterious creatures in the Gem Sea. This book has been in my family for a long time. Cool! Are we Max Hearts now that I, I said hi to you? No. Yeah. Should have brought him a present. Do you like coffee? I wonder if he would like... Would you like a triple shot espresso? I don't know if this is really a thing. Oh, he does like it. Let's also have one ourselves. Whee! There we go. Okay, so now he's happy. Which is great. So, what we're going to do is spend a little bit of time just fishing right here. And see if we can catch a catfish. Maybe I should have eaten my fishing stuff. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's actually have a fish stew. Uh, because I can. And let's... Whoops, I'm facing the wrong way. Let's see if I can catch one more catfish. Um, because we've got to turn one into the community center and then I'd like to sell one as well. Which is something I didn't think of yesterday while I was catching the carp and the wood skip. Okay, that's a bass. Do you guys say smallmouth bass or smallmouth face? Because, like, it's interesting, right? You would think it's, like, bass because it's B-A-S-S. But there's also the word bass as in, like, bass guitar, which is not spelt B-A-S-E. It's spelt B-A-S-E. I mean, sorry, B-A-S-S. So the same way that uh, smallmouth bass is, is spelt. So, like, which way is correct? I don't actually know. <laughs> but whatever. Okay, I feel like now all we're catching is these smallmouth bass fish. Um, let's try the other side of the bridge. I want to get up to the the mountain lake because it could take us a while and a, quite a few attempts to catch the legend. Of course, we can have another go at it uh, in the next game day as well. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we're getting another catfish today. That's all right. Let's head up to the mountain lake and... See if we can catch the legend. Now, the legend, of course, is a legendary fish. It's very difficult to catch. You guys might remember me trying to catch the other legendary fish that we've gotten so far. It's uh, it's quite tedious and challenging. So we're going to see how we go. Um, now, I believe that the best place to fish for the legend is actually sort of over here and around the corner by this big... Uh, I'm going to lose bullseye, aren't I? You go there, buddy. By this log that's like submerged over here. You have to like cast really far out. Oh, maybe it's actually off the tip of that island that's the best. Oh well, whatever. Oh, found it. <laughs> so even with my fishing buff. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can we, like, stack up fishing buffs on top of each other and on top of each other? Oh, whoops, I forgot to do a max cast. Like, have we now got plus five fishing? Because I wouldn't lie, that, that might be helpful in this situation. Okay, that is not the legend. As we can tell. <laughs> 
It's a large mouth bass. Oh, I lost my bait. Oh, I forgot to check how much bait I had. Oh no. That's not, that's not ideal. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch anything with no bait. Maybe we'll have to go into the mines and kill some bugs. And just grab a bit more bait. I have no idea if it like, if the legend fish is like dependent on the time of day either. So I don't know if it's going to get too late to catch the legend fish. But another thing we can do as well, since we're near the mines, is go into the mines and try to catch a ghost fish. Because uh, that is another one we need for the bundles. A bullhead. Nice. Let's just try one more. No. Oh. And we got a chop. Okay, yeah, we're... <laughs> I really messed up by not checking how much bait we had before <laughs> starting on this fishing journey. So that is on me. Let's head up here. Let's go into the mines. And let's go down to like level 15. Um, and I'm hoping that we might find some bugs. <laughs> Excellent. Hello. I need bait. Thank you very much. Was there more bugs? Oh, the froggy! There's you. Before we go down, let me just do a bug check. Gotcha. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any other bugs around right now. So let's go down. Ah, more bugs. Hello, darlings. You are exactly what I want to see. Hello, rock fan. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my inventory's full. No. I'm about to get attacked by bugs. Oh no. What a disaster. Come at me, bugs. Hello. Here they come. I did. I think I saw a ladder over here as well. Oh, he got me. Okay, well, let's, um, why don't I actually craft as much bait as I can. There we go. So now I've got 65. Well, that's, that's better. Put that on the fishing rod. Down we go. Uh, and then I'm going to head down to level 60, which I believe is one of the levels that we can catch the ghost fish on. Joja Cola. Really? I do still have my fishing buff on, so hopefully we'll be able to catch one of these ghost fish. Ugh, don't fill out my inventory with crap, man. Um, let's just get rid of some of this stuff. The Joja Cola. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna clear out a little bit of stuff. I should have, should have brought the curiosity lure. That was a mistake. Because that increases your chances of finding rare fish. Which is, of course, what we're after. Oh, look. A ghost fish. All right. Well, actually, yeah. Again, let's try to catch one more. Just in case. Or just so we can sell one, rather. Hey, there we go. Okay, we got another one. Excellent. All right. Well, that's pretty good. So, what we can do then is, I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll leave the legend fish for tomorrow. 
and we'll try to catch him tomorrow instead. Let's go down and pop in the catfish and the ghost fish into the community center. I've still got, as you can see, some extra of my fishing recipes and things that I'll be able to use um, to buff myself up. And then I'll put the curiosity lure in my uh, inventory so I don't forget about that tomorrow. We have to get home quickly though because I also need to plant all of these plants, uh, all these seeds that I picked up as well. So uh, we're in a little bit of a hurry. That's okay. So uh, specialty fish bundle. Ghost fish, there we go. So now we need the sand fish and the puffer fish. The sand fish we can catch from the desert anytime, any day. The puffer fish is unfortunately only a summer fish, or I believe you can actually get it from the traveling merchant sometimes as well. So that could be something else we look out for. What do we get? Bait! <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, we did we did run out of bait today, so that's that's nice. Thank you. Thank you, Junimos. Okay. Let's go, bullseye! Hopefully we'll be able to get all these seeds in the ground before it's bedtime. I think we will. Especially if we have another coffee. Coffee at 10 p.m.? 10.30 p.m.? That sounds like a terrible idea. But uh, I'm, I am tempted to do it. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's get some more tulips in the ground right there. Let's get... There you go, froggies. The blue jazz seeds in the ground right there. Bullseye, you can just wander back to your stable when you're ready, boy. Okay. At least I don't have to, like, rewater the plots today because it is raining. That's kind of nice. Uh, potatoes. There we go. Oops. And the kale. Hello, I have an extra seed? Oh yeah, no I did. I did buy an extra seed accidentally. I remember now. Okay, cool! Alright, well we, we accomplished some fishing today. It's getting late, I know. Um, yeah. Some fishing. <laughs> some fishing was successfully completed. So, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. I'll keep the normal quality smallmouth bass. Because that can be a fish that we use in cooking. Uh, yeah, let's grab that curiosity lure out now. So I don't forget that it's in there. Uh, let's go ahead and put those guys away in there. Sell that. We might as well sell those kale seeds. Okay. Yeah. So we don't have... Oh, we have two more truffle oils to sell today. Right. Let's sell those as well, because that'll be like another thousand gold or something. And um, let's head to bed. Full of energy. Well, you get that. Okay. Well, let's see what we make for monies today. Probably won't be <laughs> quite as good as yesterday. No. Only 8,000 gold today, but still, not bad. Um, so yeah, next time we will continue on our fishing quest, and I'm going to uh, attempt to catch that legend fish. Um, because we have another rainy day, which is really helpful. Um, and then we will hopefully be able to go to the desert and get the sandfish. Um, and then the other fish that we can catch, that we need to catch, sorry, we unfortunately do have to wait till summer. But I want to try to get all of the fishing that we need to get done, done. So that'll be the plan for next episode as well as obviously just some more derping around. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you see when the next episode comes out. And if you enjoyed this one, as always, it would really, really mean a lot to me if you would leave a like under the video. hope that you guys have a fabulous rest of your week and I will see you hopefully next Monday, although I, I do have a busy day. But we'll, we'll see. Hopefully next Monday. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Bye for now.